Road to GH will reveal exciting details on Thursday, October 17, 2024. First, Holly sat on a soft chair but felt as if she were sitting on sharp thorns. The room was so silent that she could hear her heart pounding in her chest. Brennan, with his cold, sharp eyes, stared at her without saying a word. With just that look, he made her entire body tense up, as if he could see through her every thought and action. The mention of the diamonds she brought back from Africa made her feel like she was falling into an abyss of fear. She sensed danger surrounding her, but she tried to maintain a calm exterior, swallowing the lump in her throat. Holly knew that if she showed any sign of weakness, Brennan would immediately catch on. Every excuse she made had to be flawless, with no room for any mistakes. She began to piece together her arguments in her mind, carefully choosing her words before speaking. But the weight of fear still pressed down on her. Brennan sat there, unmoving, but his presence felt like an overwhelming mountain, making her unable to escape the feeling of being controlled. Holly even noticed her breathing becoming more rapid, and cold sweat started to drip from her forehead. Every small movement of Brennan, every glance, seemed to invade her mind, intensifying her fear. She realized she was being pushed into a dark corner, where any wrong word could ignite his suspicion. It felt like an invisible noose was slowly tightening around her neck, and Holly knew that with just one small mistake, everything would collapse. Second, Sasha couldn't believe her ears when Michael told her he had found a new job for her. For a moment, Sasha was overwhelmed with emotions of surprise and joy. She recalled the recent days when she had constantly worried about her career, unsure of which direction to take next. The feeling of being stuck and confused had gripped her for a long time, and now Michael's news was like a ray of light breaking through all her anxiety. Michael hadn't just found any job, he had found the perfect opportunity for her, something Sasha had never expected. She looked at Michael with sparkling eyes, unable to hide the gratitude and happiness swelling in her heart. He was not just her life partner, but also someone who always cared, worried, and found ways to help her during the most difficult times. Michael's thoughtfulness and efforts made Sasha feel her heart warm, filled with hope. The joy spread through Sasha's entire being, with every smile and every glance reflecting her immense happiness. It wasn't just because she had a new job, but because she realized that by her side was someone always ready to support and share in every joy and sorrow in life. Sasha felt lucky and grateful, knowing that this was not only a turning point in her career, but also in their relationship, a promising new beginning. Third, Dante and Sam couldn't hide their emotions when they heard the news that a matching liver donor had been found for Lulu. It was a moment both had anxiously and hopefully awaited for a long time. After days of tension, when every passing hour brought fear of Lulu's worsening health, this news was like a miracle arriving just in time. The tension in their hearts finally dissipated, making way for deep joy and relief. Dante felt as if a massive burden had just been lifted off his shoulders. He looked at Sam, and though they didn't need to say anything, their eyes were full of mutual understanding and shared happiness. This wasn't just good news for Lulu, but a new ray of hope for their family, an opportunity for life to return to normal after such dark days. Sam also felt her heart lighten, indescribably happy knowing that Lulu finally had a chance to recover. In that moment, all the tension and exhaustion seemed to vanish, replaced by boundless joy. They held hands, understanding that the road ahead would still be difficult, but now they had renewed faith and strength to overcome it all. Next, Rick, with his calm and professional demeanor, seemed to be fulfilling his role as a dedicated lawyer protecting Heather's interests. He skillfully presented every argument, gaining everyone's trust, especially Heather's, who believed she had a powerful ally supporting her. However, behind that facade was a complex plot being meticulously planned. In reality, Rick had secretly planned to betray Heather. He was not as loyal as he appeared. Instead, Rick was secretly colluding with Ava, who had her own interests to protect. The two of them had agreed to keep a very important secret. Portia had altered the test results, an action that could completely change the course of the case. Rick and Ava knew that if this truth came to light, not only Heather, but many others would be severely affected. Therefore, they decided to conceal everything, 
using all their power and influence to ensure that this secret would never be exposed. With every step, Rick sank deeper into the game of betrayal, turning Heather from a client to be protected into a pawn in his and Ava's calculated game. Finally, Tracy, with sharp eyes and a firm tone, was urging Sasha to continue doing her job well. It was clear that she didn't want to lose Sasha, who had become an important part of the daily operations. However, behind Tracy's suggestion lay a deeper concern. She didn't just need Sasha for her skills, but also because Sasha's presence could keep Cody around. Tracy knew well the feelings between Cody and Sasha, and she didn't want Cody to leave his current job for any reason. She had carefully observed their connection and realized that if Sasha decided to leave, Cody might follow her. This was not part of Tracy's plan, as Cody was an essential part of her long-term goals. Therefore, keeping Sasha around was the best way for Tracy to ensure that Cody wouldn't leave. With her wisdom and careful calculations, Tracy made the suggestion as a way to protect both the business and her own personal interests, though her words appeared to be a sincere piece of advice for Sasha. Deep down, Tracy understood that keeping Sasha meant keeping Cody, and that was truly what she didn't want to lose.